Well, hey, YouTube, welcome back, my friends, once again to Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango W3CT, and this is my ham radio journey. Guys, today we're going to be testing out the Delta Loop, and I had to do a different configuration. I was setting up this morning, and a busload of kids pulled in. All right, I'll show you that, and we're going to start testing it right after this. Yeah, all right guys so anyway i was setting up i was getting my equipment out and all of a sudden two school buses pulled in i was like what it's summertime what are the school buses doing here but apparently it's a summer camp uh the kids are getting off the bus they were playing football and being active and you know what all things being equal that's better than them sitting at home playing video games on the couch right at least they're getting out and they're doing some movement so that's a good thing so anyway, I had to relocate myself. I found another part of the park. When I first got out of the car, the flies were eating me up. And I was like, man, this isn't good. So I started sweating. And they're like, I guess he's just part of the part of the woods. All right. So anyway, we try to show you this deployment. We'll see how it turns out on camera. And uh, I already showed you putting it up on the last video. So today we're going to test it out here. I brought my Nano VNA. So I'm going to calibrate it here and get that set up and see what the SWR is. Um, if the 9 to 1 unun doesn't work well, I'm going to try the 4 to 1 unun. So, but and I'll let you know which one works best. All right, so let's go ahead and have a look at this deployment. So I do have my DS Commander mast in the ground. Guys, remember, leave the hammer in the car. It was a little hard pushing them in. Anyway, it's up there about, I don't know, 20 feet or so. And I'm going across today, instead of using that fishing rod that I used on the video, I found a tree here that was north and south, so I threw I just threw a line up in the tree, and the wire is going across the top. If you can see it right there, it's going across the top. Here's my V coming down. Okay, right here. Now the only bad thing is that I see about this, and you guys might catch this when I go back up this side of the V. Okay, is I had to tape it actually to the mast. It was pulling the tip of it down so much uh, on the top of that with the pressure and the weight of the. Uh, of the uh, nine to one unun that I had to tape it on there. So I don't know if that's going to throw off the SWR or not. It, I don't. I don't suspect it will. But we're going to see what happens. And it's not perfectly level up there. So this is a very interesting. And I've never built one before, but I don't see where that's going to hurt it either. It, it's on a slope a little bit, but but it's all connected. Let's see what the Nano VNA has to say about it. Okay, guys. I don't know if you can see this very well or not, but this is 21, okay? So 21 megahertz, so 15 meters. It's showing me a 1.8, okay, right there. Let me try to adjust this thing and see if we can't go. I don't know if I have it set for, no, I don't. Uh, let's see, stimulus, start. Let's try 20 meters. Fourteen megahertz. Stop. Oops. Fourteen. Fourteen dot one hundred. All right, now it's showing me a two point three four on 14. So I know I can still tune that. Let's see if we restart this. 14.000 megahertz. Yeah, it showed me a 2.3. Okay, so I know I can tune that for sure. The, um, the radio is definitely gonna tune that up. 15 does look better. Let's see, just for giggles here. 7.000 megahertz. Stopping at 7.100 megahertz. It's a 2.4. So I know for sure the G90 is going to tune that up. So I'm going to hook it to the radio here and see what it sounds like. Um, the SWR is not really, really bad. But if you looked here, actually... It's best on uh, 15. So 21, 
21 megahertz to 21 point oops 21.100 yeah 1 1.8 on 15 so I'm gonna pull on a radio and see what the radio shows I'm gonna show you too also but so that's the nano VNA so let's do that I did do something this morning that I thought was kind of ingenious if you have a nano VNA number of these things look first one second one third one now I know the calibration I know don't touch that Jack because it's gonna wear it right off of there all right, let me put the Nano VNA away and bring the radio kit down here and set up and see if we can't make any contacts today. All right, guys, I'm gonna start setting up the uh, G90. Get the laptop set up here today. See what we can do. See what we can do. Battery. Guys, some of you have been asking about this stand. This is a radio oddity stand. I'll put the link in the description in this video. Um, I'm not associated with them, but a lot of you have been asking. This is a great stand for the G90, as I'm sure for other radios. So we're going to pop this baby open here. So I'm going to put the laptop right here. comes with this nice case also. So, all right this here that all right hook the battery up see if we can hear anything on this antenna like I said it's propagating it's propagating uh, to the west and to the east that's how I have it set up at least I hope in the key in there throw some power on her all right today I'm using the if we can see this okay a CW Morse with the uh, metal base So one thing I'm going to do here before I get the laptop out, we're going to do an SWR sweep. We're on 20 meters right now. Hit the power button and hold it. Yeah, it's almost three. All right. Let's tune it, see what happens. Hold the power button. Just as I expected, it tuned it up flat across the entire CW band. So that's good. That's very positive. All right. All right. Let's get the laptop up here. And. I think I'll do some laptop logging today. If I can get anybody on this antenna. Well, I hear somebody. That's positive. Again, I'm at. Yep, cap lock's on. Again, I'm at uh, US 1409. So let's start a fresh log up here in Hammers. Definitely not hearing too well, that's for sure. All right, so we're gonna do a 20 meter activation. POTA at US 
1409 CW July 12th 2024 changes to POTA all right as you can see here other side name mine I don't you can name yours whatever you want when you're doing POTA activation but I just find it easier when I go to upload them that I know which logbooks I'm working with. All right, so we are going to set the frequency because I forgot to do it last time. 14. Power today is 20 watts because we're using the uh, the G90. The mode. CW. And we're at US-1409. All right. Next thing I do is spot myself. So I'm going to do that next. Turn the camera around here a little bit. First, I got to see if I can get internet connection off my phone. Well, guess what happened? I was sitting there messing around and I got internet and I got spotted. So, call and CQ, man. It, it didn't even pick me up on the beacons because I'm not even in here. So now I just got spotted anyway, 53 seconds ago. So it's hearing me. So that's good. Good start, good start to the morning. Well, I started early and it's 11 o'clock now. So let's see what we can do here by by noon or so, or one o'clock anyway. All right, let's keep going. All right guys, well, if you can see this or not, I got four, but the signal reports, look at the signal reports. 449, 569, 559, 569. So the Delta Loop antenna is not doing well. I mean, it's making contacts. I made uh, Wisconsin, uh, Iowa, Maine, or Maine, M-E, yeah, and Tennessee. So it's making contacts, but it's not super great. So I'm gonna keep calling here and see what happens. Well, guys, did you ever have that day, you know, where it was going really, really well? Um, I got seven and I need three more to activate. So uh, I'm one of those guys, I'm that guy, I'm gonna stay here and keep calling CQ. As I told you with the G90, I don't have an auto keyer. So I really gotta break down and spend the 60 bucks and buy the keyer. Um, I, I told you before, I'm looking at the uh, the Pico keyer and I think that will do me justice. I tried to cheat one off Amazon. It was absolutely garbage, I sent it back. So, but anyway, um, I know the antenna's getting out, um, you know, so it's, it's working. Um, the, the Delta loop, but nothing like I expected it. I thought it would kill it today. I thought it would crush it, but I'm not in my normal spot. I'm more down in the valley here. So it, you know, whatever happens happens, but I mean, I'm having fun, man. I'm playing ham radio and what more can you ask than that? I mean, yeah, a couple of the bugs here think that I'm their lunch, but other than that, I think it's going pretty well. So, all right, I'm going to keep moving on here. If I don't get three more, we start looking for some park the parks here and try to try to nab some of those on CW to see how that goes. All right, moving on. Well, guys, if you can see it, believe it or not, the magical number of 10 has been reached. So I'm very, very happy. <laughs> it's like, I didn't know, man, with this Delta loop, it, the signals are, I just talked to California, and if you can see this, 449, W6OUL. So it made it to California. I don't know how, but uh, you know, or why, but it, it did. Propagations might be coming up. I don't know what's going on with it there, but so, and just for your uh, for your notes, I am running this uh, Delta Lou with a nine to one on it. So it's 49 feet of wire is what I got hung up there. So it's working. It's not, it's not blowing anything out of the water. Of course it could be where I'm sitting, but it's working. So I got my 10. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get a couple more before I get out of here. I said I'd like to work until noon. I got about 15 more minutes, so I'm gonna push on. Well, guys, successful activation. So the Delta Loop uh, that I built, um, and you can correct me if I was wrong when you've seen this thing, um, it worked. It didn't work well. Um, my signal report's coming back, but like I said, it might be where I'm sitting. Looking around here, I do have some hills behind me here and stuff, and the antenna's kind of facing like I said, I, I think the radiation is on the west and the east side. Pretty much is how I set it up. But anyway, with that said, I'm going to show you here successfully 12. So 
And I did use hammers again. There's a jet coming over right now. There's a jet, listen. They must be using the runway coming right over this park. Anyway. All right. Okay, anyway, uh, like I said, successful activation, I got 12. The last one I did a park to park was from uh, WS4Y. And I hear these guys a lot, and people will tell you that do POTAs. After a while, you'll start hearing the hunters that's hunted you before. So it's interesting. You'll start picking up call signs. Like there's this one gentleman, W4SK. I mean, I know that call really, really well. Um, and he even responds back all the time with uh, with Jack, like, hello, Jack. And that's very nice. Uh, it's a nice personal touch when somebody's hunting uh, that they know your name. And it's pretty cool. That means I've been doing this for a while. I mean, not long. I don't know how many successful activations I have. Maybe, I don't know, nine or ten, I guess. So, anyhow, it's time to pack up the gear and um, get out of here. i got to run to the store here. Pick up some steaks for tonight for dinner. Uh, throw those babies on the grill. And we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so um, and you've seen my last couple or my last video. I did an activation with the QMX, and uh, I'm using hammers now and computer logging as I go instead of now. I still and I'm, I'm a computer guy. I back them up on paper, and I know I'm kind of weird that way. But anyway, so yeah, but. Um, you know, because when I'm working field day with the guys or with the ham club or, or you're working contest, you're, you're, you know, you're computer logging. So I'm trying to get more adapted to doing that than to writing it down and going home and putting them in. So luckily I did pick up an internet connection. You guys heard earlier, I didn't have one. Uh, once I spotted myself, then the calls started coming in. So I really should always learn to pre-spot before I leave the house. But I haven't been successful doing that. I don't know if it just doesn't work for me. So... All right, guys, until next time, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this type of video, again, it was not so much... I didn't want you to see this as an activation video today. This video is more of the Delta Loop and how did it work um, and how did it perform. You know, receive-wise, performed pretty decently. Transmit-wise, not so much. I'm not impressed. I probably won't build it again, so th that tells you something. But that's what I want this to be. It's more of an antenna-type video than just the activation part of the video. That's why I didn't record too many of the calls. But thank you for watching so much. If you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a big thumbs up. I would appreciate that. And smash that subscribe button, guys. Stick around here and see what I'm going to film next. I got some ideas uh, what to record next. And I uh, got some plans coming up here. So, till then, 73s, thanks for watching. This is Whiskey 3 Charlie Tango, W3CT, My Ham Radio Journey. 73s, hope to catch you on the airways. Bye for now, guys.